Good morning, everyone. Slept well last night. Cabin was nice and warm until probably about 2 a.m. And then it got quite chilly. Open sky last night. Very, no clouds this morning. So it was, it was a cold night for August. Get up. So we got to make uh, breakfast pretty quick here. We're about five kilometers behind schedule. We have finished breakfast. Bacon and eggs again this morning. We're just in the process of charging up some batteries, squaring all the gear away, and preparing for the day. First things first, let's be honest, gotta go do my Thunderbox review. Ryan looks pretty chipper this morning, to be honest. I lost 10 pounds. Ryan had a poopy. Yeah. <laughs> Rich also had a poopy. Yeah, it was a big day for everybody. So we got a long day today, longer than normal, uh, because we stayed here. We wrapped up Rich's ankle with a tensor bandage today, because um, we have quite a bit of portaging. So hopefully that holds up. Um, and we're going to basically the last three campsites before the Ramona portage. I think it's called High Falls. This is not something you normally see in the woods. Nice clearing. Obviously they were farming of some kind or cut down a clearing for timber or something, but it's like perfectly square. I feel like uh, bears may like this because of all the berry bushes. Nice little spot. It's a bit of a tricky put in. It's fairly steep uh, and it's shallow and rocky. So you have to walk her out a little bit. What a gorgeous spot. I saw a huge splash as I go in and got something there. First decent sized brookie of the trip. So this is the Nod lake portage from the Nipissing and the campsite we were scheduled to stay on last night. So it took us about an hour to get here. Doesn't look uh, very nice from the river. I feel like we made a good decision last night. So this is like, this is not what you want when you have three hammocks. A couple big trees, but they're too far apart. There's alder on the riverside. And then you can see behind me, it's pretty dense forest. Um, like you can find spots, but you gotta really search. Thank God we stayed at the cabin last night. Are you ready, Cadence? The correct answer is aye aye, Captain. We went from probably, what, 10 degrees overnight. Thought we were gonna freeze to death on day one to 30 degrees and sunny on day three. But it's nice to feel the sun. We made it to the 385 uh, Stewart's Dam portage. There was a 
can't see it now, but there was a nice red tail hawk circling. You can hear the rapid. You can't see it, it's around the corner. And uh, seems to be a nice, nice put in, nice portage. This is the 385 around Stewart's Dam. Beautiful little field. All the summer flowers are out. Lots of ferns. You can hear the water on my right hand side, but you can't see anything. Maybe up here you it'll open up and we can take a look. This might be the first portage that's marked maintained of the trip. So far, it's been non-maintained campsites and portages. So this is the downstream end of the Stewart Dam portage. Beautiful spot. The rapid splits into two. Uh, so there's this side here with I think the majority of the water. And then over there, it comes out again as well. So we fished right here, nothing biting. Once we get in the boats, I'm gonna waggle out a little further downstream and then cast back at it. Hopefully every portage on the river looks as beautiful as this. I guess this, this is why we come out here. We're approaching the Allen Rapids portage, 2.1 kilometer portage. Just a few little swifts that we have to go through before we uh, even get to the, the takeout. Water's high, so these look pretty straightforward. Just a little rub on the skid plates. So the portage is right here. Uh, this is the start of the Allen Rapids. Two kilometer portage up and over on the river left. Doesn't look too crazy from here, but it's obviously a long set of rapids and I'm sure it gets squirrely somewhere in there. We're gonna single carry this obviously and uh, hopefully it doesn't take too long. So far, portage has been really nice, good footing. Bit of a gradual uphill till about the midway point. And then I'm hoping it goes gradually down, which it should, to the river. There's a campsite about three quarters of the way down. We might stop there, see if there's a good fishing hole. So we just finished the 2.1. Rich went for a little bit of a half naked swim. We fished this little area here. Rich and I both caught a brook trout, but we did not land them. Uh, we have quite a bit of paddle to our next uh, portage. There's a campsite on the way, which we'll check out, but we probably won't stop much. It's still pretty hot. It is like 30, 32 degrees. So it's freezing. Scorcher. Uh, like it looks like you can hit it on the left. Can we scrape? promises but I just saw a big rock there.
mean, I know we haven't hit anything big yet, but we're getting a little better at reading some of that stuff. Today. Well, we've managed to find quite the obstruction. We are somewhere in this section here. I don't know if you can see it, but between the Kelly Creek Junction and Graham's Dam, it's gonna be some sort of weird drag carry shenanigans. Gonna be a lot easier for those guys with two guys, but we'll figure it out. Bump your way over, try not to put a hole in the boat. This is definitely not on the map. Like this is a huge tree. This one. Look at the size of that. There was a huge log across the entire river and Ryan just managed to free the one end of it good and bad <laughs> we are free and clear but this logs floating so it's gonna end up somewhere hopefully it just washes up on the corner up there so it's getting later in the afternoon we're just rolling up to the campsite before Gauthier's dam portage doesn't look too bad, but it does not look like it's been used much lately. Um, so we should just waggle to the left and there should be a dam that we are portaging around. We still haven't passed or seen any people since day one on Tim Lake. It's been really, really good, really scenic. Feels like you're much more remote than you are. Marked on the map, it looks a little more severe than it, what I am looking at here, but again, you can't see around the corner. So this is the campsite on the portage. It has a really nice view. Big pine tree, fire pit overlooking the, the water. Here, you're quite elevated and then Back here, it opens up a bit. Might have, yeah, there's a tent pad right there. As far as uh, river portages, or river campsites go, that's probably one of the better ones. This portage, it's uh, kind of treacherous. It's on a bit of an angle, right by the edge of the water. And it's kind of sandy. Uh, we got a bit of blow down here. No big deasy. Uh, and what about this one? Where did they go? Around that way? Uh, must have. So we're at the 365, Nipissing River to Nipissing River. The put-in is just magical. Uh, and then there's a bit of a, you know, start of a swift here. Goes off to the right into a rapid. We're gonna sit here and take a look at this and figure out what the best way to do this is. This is the 365. The river is gorgeous down the right-hand side. A couple sets of rolling rapids. The path is very easy to follow. One of the better portages of the day so far. So after this, we got a little bit of paddle. And then the next portage is the 1300. 
and there's three campsites on that portage and we're booked to stay there so we're gonna take the boats probably on the whole portage and pick the best campsite or the only one that's available we'll see what happens so the day's almost over and I think tonight we're having Stormzy's brisket we had that last summer on Lavier gravy potatoes and homemade brisket it is gonna be good on this trip we've been fishing at the end of every single portage pretty much or close to it First cast. What did I tell you? Every time. We'll catch something on the first cast and then nothing else. So our new rule is if you don't catch it on the first cast, you're not catching anything. Well, wish me luck. So this is home for the night. Somewhere on this portage, there's three campsites and we're gonna be taking one of them. Yeah, so 1300 meter portage, there's a campsite towards this end, one kind of two thirds down and then one at the very end on the backside. So we're gonna walk the boats down all the way probably. And uh, whatever one's the best, we'll, we'll come back for the bags and go there. I was wrong. The third campsite is actually downstream a bit from the end of the portage. So the first campsite was awful. The second one on the portage was okay, but not great for hammocks. Um, so then we're here anyway with the boats. So I attempted to walk. It's very, very shallow. So I attempted to walk to the campsite, but I've, I think this section here might be a little too deep. So the guys are coming with the boat and we're just gonna go uh, check and see what it's like. Can I ride shoddy? How am I gonna do this? I don't know. Oh my God. <laughs> My opinion is this is the nicest site. We'll see what the guys think. Yes, by far. Has some wood cached. <laughs> Wind. I don't know what that is at all. Or like some sort of trap. So this is gonna be home for the night. Uh, now we just need to go back upstream <laughs> to the boats then go 1300 meters back to the bags and then bring it all back here what are the real uh, when we went and picked the bags back up it was uh 10 after 7 right seven. so it's probably closer to 7 30. Uh, we completed our day even though we had an extra five kilometers in the morning it should have been yesterday's end of the day and thank god that portage at the end of the nod portage or campsite on the end of the nod portage was awful we still got a bit of work to do we got to get all the bags and gear over to the campsite good we're where we need to be when we need to be there and spirits are fairly high get some brisket some scotch what are we doing for dessert tonight boys you want to do blueberry cobbler Oh, Coke bottles. So this is the High Falls. And she is amazing. Okay, so change the plan. We're on the second campsite on the High Falls Portage. It was good enough. We said screw it. We stayed. 
boiling water right now with the brisket in it. This is Stormzy's brisket. Shout out to Stormzy. Always hooks us up with uh, pepperoni sticks, brisket. Thanks again, Stevie. We love you. Essentially, we've paddled most of the upper Nipissing in three days. Uh, day one was long. Day two was long enough, but we cut it short. And today we rolled in probably around seven, eight o'clock. Uh, but that's with quite a bit of fishing. We fished every rapid. We probably caught 10 to 12 brook trout today. Yeah, two good two ones. One. Uh, a bunch of little smelts. The high falls was phenomenal. Uh, I've seen a lot of waterfalls in Algonquin Park, but that's probably the best one. How many high falls have you seen? Yeah, I've seen multiple high falls, but that one there, that's the Niagara Falls of Algonquin Park. So tomorrow we bump off the Nipissing River and we get into some really nice lakes. I like Ramona, Whiskey Jack, Robinson. Those are beautiful lakes, good fishing. And then Burnt Root, special place in my heart. Um, one of the first lakes I fell in love with in Algonquin Park. Got a lot of history there, some things to see, alligator, Anchor Island. We're gonna take Rich over to the root cellar. I've been to that a couple times now. Uh, it's worth seeing. And finish the day off on Red Pine Bay. Did it even at you, Ryan guy? Just a little bit of Ryan McMillan shots. There's nowhere I'd rather be with you guys right now. Besides on the water? Yeah. Well, Vegas would be pretty sweet. Vegas would be sweet, yeah. <laughs> Three guys in the stove? I've never been there. It's a bit bougie, but... Ratchet? Nasty! Uh, no, it's, it's really good, but it's expensive. Someone hasn't been using deodorant. I've never used deodorant on a single trip. Stinks on every trip. Stay away from me at night. <laughs> He's got hungry eyes. They like to do that. Well, we were going forward until you wanted to ride. Oh my god, right, uh, right into the alder. Oh, there <laughs> oh this is a big one, right? <laughs> Jeez, that was Murphy. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, we're almost there. This is so dumb. Oh, brand new Thunder Box. That just. Mwah. Many feet. Like, we haven't even sat yet, but like a like an eight? Like, the wood's still gold. Ooh, or maybe a nine. Niner. I haven't had one of those in a while. The fire pit, uh, much to be desired much left to be desired. It's cute though. It is cute. It's so cute. It's a little. <laughs> GoPro, stop recording. <laughs>